Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. It's Rich. I guess this could be the first video for the 2023 garden. I'm working on an inside compost pile and worm bin for the winter of 22-23. Next spring, I'm going to have a mountain of straw and manure and I'm going to mix that in with the current mound of dirt in our compost pile and I'm going to need some things to kind of break that down, to put that into nuclear fission um, and along with the bacteria that, that it will come with the spring heat uh, mixing with that manure and, and straw, I'm going to need a bunch of worms um, and it's been so dry. I don't know how many worms I've got out there. So I'm going to work on something over the winter. Um, I got a 200 quart um, tub. This is nice hard plastic. Got it at Home Depot, it was like 30 bucks. Um, nice lid that goes on it, uh, you know. And I'm gonna put this down in our basement. Um, I'm gonna fill it up. I, I, I didn't wanna film down in the basement because it is, it's dark, it's, it's a basement. Uh, we've got a 1940s house and it's dark down there. But it's gonna be perfect for this worm bin. Um, any of the scraps that we can't uh, send out to the chickens over the winter are going to go in here and are going to be broken down uh, by the worms that are in here and hopefully at the same time you know if I can find a bunch of worms outside today and put them in here you know will a hundred worms turn into five six hundred worms I hope I've done it in the past I uh, had a compost pile in my basement over the winter and it was incredible the the compost or the the worm droppings, the worm casings that are left are absolute gold. So I'll sort them out um, and use that, make a, you can use that for compost tea, mix it with water and then water your plants with that and put them into nuclear mode. They, they really benefit from that. But all the worms, they, I had thousands of worms by the end of the winter. Um, this is something I can't carry out, especially from the basement upstairs. So, you know, I'll bring five gallon buckets and stuff and bring it out in the spring. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. I gotta construct this first. What I'm gonna do, I'll take you along, but I'm gonna put, uh, we got some topsoil that was brought in and it was not good topsoil. So that's why I put it in the compost pile and I've been kind of adding to it. I'm gonna put a layer of um, that dirt, clay. It's really kind of a hard clay dirt. I'm gonna put, some um, some of all the corn stuff that's been blowing around out there. You saw my, my short, we've got feet of it. So I'm gonna put a layer of corn. There's my carbon. I'm gonna get a, a bucket full of the uh, chicken manure that's in the, um, in the coop right now. Bring that out. So there's my uh, nitrogen. So nitrogen and um, that carbon from the, the uh, corn stuff and mix that up as the base. I'm gonna put a little dirt in there a layer of dirt and hopefully at the same time I'm digging that dirt I'm finding some worms so put that in there and I think to get it started the only thing I'm gonna add is maybe like half a pumpkin and I'll put it or, or a pump a small pumpkin cut it in half and put it side down just to give them some food then we're good for a couple of weeks and as we get table scraps then we can just dig it in and uh, you know, every time you get some potato peelings or carrot peeling, stuff that the girls don't like, um, just be able to throw it in there, dig it in a little bit, and within a couple weeks, it's gone. And the worms will use that and they'll multiply. So let me take you along, but our worm bin slash indoor compost pile for uh, the 2022-2023 winter is starting. So let's go get some stuff. Hey everybody, I'm back. Sorry if it's uh, windy here. It is quite windy out here on the prairie today. So I have been digging up the compost pile behind me. It has been so dry all summer. I'm assuming the worms are way down deep. Um, I ended up digging uh, back by where the watermelons were and I found about 20 worms, 20. So there's my starter. You know what, I'm gonna see what uh, we can do. Um, found a nice head of cabbage that hadn't uh, decomposed and uh, I've got a good 
a five gallon bucket. I'm not, I can't lift it any further now. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with uh, five gallons of uh, just dirt and uh, 20, 20 worms. I'm gonna go uh, get some uh, corn stuff, get uh, the manure from the girls, throw another five uh, gallons of, of dirt on top, and then uh, I'll kind of sum up where we are, show you where it's gonna be, and uh, see what goes from there. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm beat. It is, uh, it's been about two hours of digging and this and that, searching for worms. So I got my big 20 worms inside, got the tub, I'm in the basement, in a very dark back corner of the basement, as you can tell, uh, lighting's not great. Let me just show you, I'm gonna spin you around and show you what we got. Um, so it's just sitting in a dark corner. So you can see the dirt, then there's a tiny little manure layer, then the uh, the corn husks and stuff that were blowing around are in there, and then a little bit on top, and then I did throw a pumpkin, a, a half on top. That's gonna be the initial food source, um, and then we'll dig in some other. So not gonna water it. Uh, there should be enough moisture in the soil, and as we add uh, stuff to it, uh, that will add moisture as well. So I'm not worried about it, uh, you know, being dry or any of that. So, spin you around again. The uh, last piece here, literally is put the, put the lid on. There you go. Lock it. And we're good. Got our worm bin compost pile for the uh, winter of 22-23 and uh, we'll give you updates just seeing how this composts and how uh, uh, I'm hoping with the clear sides I can see where the worms are and be able to kind of watch the progress a little bit. Um, it, it would be better to be totally dark to have this but it is so dark down here in this corner that I'm not worried about the worms being affected by light. So, um, but we'll give you an update as we go. So uh, if you got questions on this, if you've done this, let me know. I'd love to uh, see how it comes out. If you've got a whole bunch of worms and a great bit of compost for compost tea and, and a bunch of uh, you know good usable dirt. So drop some notes down below, hit the thumbs up. We'd appreciate that. If you're not a subscriber, join us. We got a lot of stuff going on this winter we wanna share with you. So everybody take care. Thanks for joining us for this one.